All right, today's project right here. JR remote control, old school, vintage. This is actually a rare piece. Ended up grabbing into the yard sale. And today's mission is gonna be to clean her out. Battery blew up. See some corrosion along here as well. And various areas that I can see, like on the switches and etc. So I wanna dig deep into this unit and I want to repair it if it's broken, refurbish it, or restore it. One thing that's missing on here that I can see so far, uh, I don't know if the adapter's over there, I got a whole shitload of them, but uh, no cap uh, cover. But uh, the, I'm sure that <laughs> this battery's gone. Maybe I can build one or it's gonna be sold um, as is. Uh, so my mission is to fix her up, get her going. So if you're into this type of thing, stick with me, because it's going to be a good one. Also, check that out. Nice old school fan. It works. Just needs some TLC. Yeah. Shout out to the fan. All right. Don't do that at home, kids. Leave that to the professionals. Anyways, back to this. I got to get this thing up and going. Set this camera up. And the first thing that I am gonna do is take out that corroded battery. Yeah, let's take out that corroded battery. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Let's see how that works. Okay, one of these deals. That's the so that's shot corroded and battery itself. Check that out. Old school. I think I have. I, th I think there's another one here. Let's see. Well, you hope this is it. Oh no! Look at that. It is. But look at that. It's corroded, and it's close to the same thing. Hmm. That might work. I don't know. Well, I doubt it's going to work because it's corroded. See? Both of them, they're gone. Anyways, that's that. Get rid of some of this stuff. Before it starts going all over the place. Alright. So, let's start taking it apart, right? Let me go get a Phillips. Corroded nut right up there. Easier to clean this way. You just dunk this in water. There's no labels to worry about or any of that. Scrub it. I'm gonna take out that handle, actually. Yeah, take out those screws. I'm not gonna get that out. Gonna have to be with a socket. So, but we'll do that after. File this off to the side. Take a closer look. What's going on in here? Well, it doesn't seem too bad. Look at this, this is the power charging uh, slot. Really cor corroded in there. See that? Also the back of it. Let's see what else is messed up around here. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure what that was, what is this? Anyways, that's whatever that is. And a lot of some debris in there. We'll clean that up I'll, uh, after. Alright, so the next thing I'm thinking, let's see, it's gonna be hmm, it's gonna be cute. I'd like I actually could just clean it this way. Hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. If I don't see anything broken or out of whack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay it, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this here. And I don't have one of these here, these ports, but I'll look into it. Um, 
but if I do have to rep uh, replace it, I'll replace it. it says made in Japan, all original, it's good shit. All right, anyways, so I'm gonna replace these two. I'm gonna clean her out inside and out, and then we're gonna hook up. I'm gonna I'll, for shits and giggles. I'm gonna see. This is the original one that was in there. I highly doubt this one is working, but I'm gonna test it out. See what the hell is putting out. For shits and giggles, I'm gonna see if this thing has a, a possibility of uh, bringing it alive again. I'm just gonna start cleaning. Get this clean. That way, I don't have debris on my workbench for this shit falling out. We'll get this all out. So the majority is out. You go get the air compressor. All right, let's pull this out. Oh yeah. take care of all that. So this here, very simple. This is what I do with all kinds of plastics. Uh, just get in there, start spraying. By the way, all purpose cleaner. My brand. I actually do detailing, so mix my own batch. Scrub. Get in those crevices. Like brushing your teeth, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I know many of you don't brush your teeth. You can actually YouTube that and I'll show you. If uh, you need a video, I can always do a video on that. But basically, just scrub away. And get it in every angle, every crevice, every space. And don't leave any trace of anything. Where the battery went, and there was a lot of corrosion right here. That, back and forth the other way, the right way, get it from underneath, flip a roo. As you see, I'm getting every crevice, and that's a fact. This is where your charging cable goes, go up and down on these ridges, right, the other side. Okay. Now the key thing is to put this right into water, which I do. I'll show you that real quick. Actually, I can't even show you, but I'm going to just do it up to the left here. As you see, clean as a whistle, right? Now, she's clean, clean, right? So now I just give her some air compressed love. 
you know, I'm not gonna do it here because I gotta face it the other way. And blow it dry and she'll be good as new. Yeah. Alright, so you can see that rusty one. Put, put a bolt on it. That's it. And then, Pretty good for me, right? I'm satisfied with that. This one doesn't have much rust, just a little, as you can see, right there in the corners. If it's zoomed in, you can. Not much, so. That's nice and fast. So I ended up finding this damn piece. Uh, you don't even want to know what I had to dig through to get this. I knew I had it, just couldn't find the damn thing. All right, um, set that off to the side. That's heat shrink, by the way, in case those of you who don't know what it is. So as you can see, this thing is broken and it's corroded. So I'm just gonna get it out of here and trash that. What I'm going to do is just solder both ends, put the heat shrink on there, call it a day. Nice and simple, right to the point. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now the other side. All right, that's one component fixed. Now, the hard one, the power source. I'm gonna see first if I have anything similar to this. And if not, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just take it apart and refurbish her. Yeah, it's not bad. All I have to do is just take out this corrosion in here. I just got to get in there. So hopefully there's a way I can go in there and do that. Um, so let me take a photo so I can know where, which wire goes where. Back. So right there like that. Click. And that's it. See? Yeah. Shout out to technology, right? Now, I feel safe, confident, taking it apart. Some fresh solder, introduce that. And yeah, there it comes. Now the other side. I 
think this was either the 80s or 90s that this was made. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I think it's what it is. So here it is. Yeah, corrosion back there and corrosion there. You see. Yep, I dropped that fast. You know what happened to my finger just now, right? Shout out to the burn mark in a couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see. Green in between, if you know what I mean. Let me figure this out and uh, get back to you. All right, here's how I made out. I just cleaned it. That's what I did. So I took my time and got it all nicey nice. Clean as a pistol and ready for action once again. So now I have to just reinstall it. So first things first, I'm going to apply some solder at each point. Nice fresh solder. About to go down right now. That's one. And down here. Two. Okay. Also, I'm going to do some here. One, two. Okay, nice. There we have it. All ready to rock and roll once again. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me zoom out. And now, just gonna double check one last time. Go to look at everything, make sure everything's all right. Okay. Make sure the wires are out of the way of these mechanical little areas here. Now, I should put some grease and maybe I shouldn't. Let me see something. Because there is still some here, believe it or not, that old. It's looking pretty proper. Look at that. That mechanism is working flawlessly. This one here. Very nice. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, make sure these switches are good up here. Here. Turn knobs there. Okay, another switch. What's this down here? Okay. Look at that. Old solder ball. Get rid of that crap. Alright, let me go get the back cover. And we're going to put this in. And we're going to power up a 9 volt to see if that screen lights up. Alright. So, alright, so I found a cover, but I don't think it's going to fit. This is off a different remote. I highly doubt it. It looks close. I don't know. Hmm, see? Yeah, too good to be true. Oh, it's one of those slider ones anyway. So slide, go there. Hmm. Yeah, I can't use this, see? I don't think I can even customize it. Clips are too far away from these holes here. That would be nice. If I truly wanted to, I could. Actually, I might, I possibly could make a cover. Maybe out of plexiglass or something. I don't know. All right, we'll see if it's even worth it. But here's what I got going on. I've got this battery, and I want to see if I have anything. I highly doubt it, but it is nine volts that this thing operates on. So let's see. Really hope I see something. I don't. Ex I don't expect much, but you never know. Oh shit. Yes, there it is. See it? LED is on. Turn it off. On. And you're getting readings. I don't know how this works, but let's see if these buttons do anything that it changes that zero zero display. Nothing there. How about this? Nothing here. 
So it, it probably needs the uh, that re that transmitter, I believe, or I forgot if it's the transmitter. It's whatever this communicates with on the helicopter. Yeah. Hey, pretty cool, huh? She is working. She works. There's nothing broken. All it was was corroded. Corrosion. It just swept through everything. I really wish that I do have that cover. I'm going to keep checking. I do have more uh, remotes. So, yeah. That's it. Thanks for coming in. Checking out this quick refurbish on a really cool vintage JR remote control for the helicopter shout out to the helicopter squad out there you know who you are this thing is immaculate shape only thing right now it's missing is that back cover for the battery and of course a battery um, it takes one of these suckers this is the the original corroded just uh, it leaked so fits in there put the cover on power it on and you're ready to rock and roll flying over your neighbor's house filming them doing some crazy shit sounds like a drone doesn't it hmm I wonder if there's drones out there has anybody ever invented one of those well anyways as you heard I gotta get going I got people calling me and texting me and emailing me and who else knows what's going on I'm sure I've got mail in the mailbox so have a good one until the next one cheers yeah!